You might say there's no democratic path for Russia in the base game of Hoi 4, but I say otherwise. Admittedly, it's a very confusing path for the Russian people. There were about four governmental changes in two years, but at least they can finally live in democracy. We're gonna do the most cursed Russia! But today, with historical... Because I can't be asked anymore. We are doing cursed Russia, which is every Russia. We're gonna build in Chita and just in general over here. We are gonna stack up the armies, although it doesn't really matter. We are not gonna take a focus and usually you... What? Where did that factory come from? Anyway, usually I would go for Turkey, but we are gonna do cold Turkey strats today. It just makes things a little bit more complicated. We have 50 PP, we are gonna cause some world fire. Stalin is a little bit crazy, that's fine by me. We have banned fascism, because we do still, I mean, no, not anymore, but we do have a little bit of fascism, and we're also gonna get even more fascist with the women's fascist movement. As for the specifics for this challenge... Challenge? For this run, we do want to keep our PP high, especially in the early game. We do want to keep our paranoia high as well, kind of. The only way that we can get to this Russia is by getting 100% political paranoia. But if we go above 75, Stalin is gonna start using the Stalin sword algorithm over his generals. So instead, we have to time getting 100 paranoia with his focuses. Set up the headquarters in Cheetah, which if you don't do it, if we went for the civil war now, we could spawn over here, which would be very fun. Ah, oh, fuck that. That was actually a, yeah, whatever, it's fine. We're gonna take the 5% war support hit or stab, whatever it was. First important thing that I want to go for is Vladivostok. I mean, uh, what is it? Kaparovsk? Because then we can easily take Vladivostok and without it, it's just ass to fight for Vladivostok. Ooh, nice. Yeshov, always happy to see him for these runs. For once, not like with the no focus Soviet game where Yagoda was accused of disloyalty every two weeks. Oi, Yagoda, accused of disloyalty again. Yes, yes, it's part of sprint plan. We always do it after refinement. Usually I'd be fine with this, with Stalin turning generals into cows, but because if Stalin cows generals, we can get them during the civil war. But that's 15 paranoia, which gives us a chance of triggering the civil war. There we go. Uh, I thought he would only go for it at 100%, but I guess 90% is fine. For whatever reason, Stalin thinks that there's a coup in his country, that people are plotting something. Just let it take out. Oh no, that's super bad. That is super bad. I was planning on Japan doing something, but I never did. Ensure that we send every little gun that we have, everything to Spain. We don't have the five army XP that we need. Oh, that's so close, man. Oh, look at that. We made it. I must have looked. I... And it must have glitched my game. Oh no. Turn all units into AA. Oh, we don't have this province. That's super bad. Plan attacks everywhere. Send everyone over there. Gonna keep two guys here. One guy here. The other guy here. I think this looks fine. Just right click, right click, right click. That is all we need to do today. I also should probably start producing horse. And also super important. Cancel this. German Soviet treaty. Sure, you send it to the wrong address, get as much land as you can. Yes. Help! Usually, when I play the Soviets, I will just annex whatever. I will declare war on everybody. But right now, our enemy's enemy is our friend. Because we are fucking weak. We don't have any of our things that you actually get when you do this focus tree. Main benefit of all of this, of allying with those nations, if they take land, it flips to us instead of to them. Which, for the purposes of the Civil War, means that we're winning more. Which causes more desertions. Yay, naval admirals. Wow, thank you. That was a waste of a click of a button. Oh, thank you Mussolini for freeing Siberia with four divisions. I wonder what I would do without you. Probably the same thing that I do right now. Okay, I'm actually getting a little bit of RSI right now from all of this microing. Like just because there's so many pockets here. I have to click every single province, you know? This isn't Wiki 2 railroad management, but it sure as hell feels like it. The penis province, we got it. It would be kind of funny if your legacy in 30 years is you are the penis province in Hearts of Iron. I wouldn't even be mad if that was my legacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait a minute. If we attack here, these units are all encircled. Honestly, I don't think I needed to do this. I would have been fine with just declaring one Komi and then as well. Rightful Russian territory. Yep, 
Let's go. Let's get Warcon. And I will just let this thing go on auto now. Look at this. They have 30 divisions. We have 120. It just sucks that all of these are now popping free. The Soviets should cap any minute now because we have made it past the Urals and we are just steaming. There's nobody here. Most of them should be stuck here. There we go. This is all that popped out of Russia. I think the fastest I did was Karelia that they popped out like a week before I kept the Soviets. But that, I've never done that. And I didn't even take any of these things. We shall consolidate power. And because we are playing the most cursed Russia, Vladivostok will be the eastern capital, which is absolutely dog shit and stupid. You should never do it. When in Moscow, do as the crazy man does that shot everybody and then got shot. Or probably don't do as he does. Did. Anyway, we have factories now. And Canada wants to give us free hearts. Okay, thank you. Honestly, I don't think that focus is worth it. <laughs> Because if we didn't take the focus, we would get 70 PP. So I can also just spend the PP to annex them. I guess we could go uh, a military reorg. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. On the left. Industry, yes, we can abolish the five-year plan. The three hundred declared... Oh, they went for exile Voldemort, okay. But that's still democratic, right? I guess they used their claim on Vilna? Right, I want to justify. Thank you, Poland. Wahoo, yippee, as Mario Mario would say. Oh, poor Lithuania. Exile to one province. It's also time to just hit the gas because the Germans will start coming. Oh, would you look at that? The non-aligned debates democracy. So I guess we need a referendum. What a, what a, what a coincidence that we have 63% democratic support. I, who could have seen this coming? And there he is, the happy man, Kerensky. We just became democratic. Why do you want to go back to communism? We were non-aligned. Thing is just we shot everybody. We only have Denikin, who's not that great. Okay, World War II has kicked off. God, it's been so long. I don't even remember how you built planes. I mean, it's the AI. It doesn't really matter, does it? No! The fact that Lithuania declared war is just making the borders ass. Do we need convoys? Why do we need convoys? For supply. Why? Is Vladivostok not connected? Yeah, just connected to the front. I will just have to build a few railroads if I want supply. I'm also gonna click a very inconspicuous button that I don't think you've ever seen. Auto upgrade. Now, if we ever research anything better, for example, better engines or a better plane, the game is gonna copy this design and for no cost at all is gonna produce us this plane in the better upgrades, which also works for tanks and such. But uh, I don't think anybody has ever seen that button. Except for you, and you are a nerd. Come on, now! Fuck it, that's... that border's close enough. We have the saw back, just look at them. But we're also green. Oh no! The Germans are coming! Vladivostok was a mistake! Actually, I think the mistake was clicking on an ISP video six years ago and then downloading Hoi 4. Not even close to ready here. That thing can work as a coast guard. Just gonna get like 35 of those and then 48 of those. We could of course also go for the focus that doesn't do anything. Intervention in the Americas or uh, lose 50% of our stability, but um, no. Okay, Romania is part of the exit. Yes, at least that border is not gonna be cringe. I'll just have one straight line with the axis. The Germans are not gonna attack us. I'll take it. What? German Reich, Italy, Hungary, Slovakia. Gains claim on Bohemia? I, what? I'm too cooked for this to understand what this means. I'm not ready yet. I'm just gonna join the allies. I will give Germany a little bit of time to get their units over here, just to keep it fair. Now they cancel the non-aggression pact, okay? There we go. Oh fuck, I forgot about Finland. Or did I? <laughs> yes, I did forget about Finland. You all go to the front now, please. And we're gonna get absolutely fresh because everybody just moved now. As I said, we're also not really ready for this. Okay, the, the Finns, I have no idea what you just did. Infantry specialist, yes. The generals are getting so much XP right now. Okay, can we get the infantry guy now? Yes. This is definitely my worst defense as the Soviets in a while, but we are, we're getting there. No, thank you very much. I will take all of Finland because this stupid ass bullshit winter I do need the command power, but I don't care. I'll just take all of Finland. Wait. I'm part of the allies. Oh no. Okay, uh, the Finnish forces. I have a different plan. Let's go to China. Railroad, please. There's my capital. No! Who could have seen this coming? Certainly not this guy. Yep, that's it. The Germans have stopped pushing. Uh, can I join the war? Thank you. 
Joa, let's get desperate measures. We definitely need it. Oh, I'm so desperate. Do the Germans... Uh, yeah, they don't really have planes. They have 1k. Nothing to be worried about. <laughs> Finish resistance. No, I don't care. There we go. Let's put up our 500 cas. Just very chill. Go for an encirclement by right-clicking. There we go. How many divisions does Germany have? 250 or something. I shall also do crown crews for the 10% bonus. Efficiency. I'm not even sure that this thing does anything. I honestly, between betting that it does anything and that it doesn't do anything, I will bet that it doesn't do anything. Ah, they broke out of Norway, huh? Oh well. Uh, I was about to say the allies are probably dealing with it, but they're not really dealing with it. <sighs> so I guess we're just gonna drop you guys. There you go, that was a very chill attack. Wouldn't mind bringing my planes a little bit close. Oh, right, I have I have a focus tree. My political tree that I can finally go for. And then let's push into Danzig. And then once we have Memel, they're also all encircled. Ah, Memel is not part of this air zone. That's why we can't push. Yep, they're all encircled now. If I was playing a little bit more optimally, which I guess I wouldn't be playing this path. But if I was playing a little bit more optimally, I would probably go with Pan-Slavic nationalism. Just because that's actually the interesting path. I guess we're gonna go with the rightful aisle to the aisle. Rightful aisle! <laughs> oh yes, I'm I'm cooked. There's a reason I haven't been playing Hearts of Iron for the past two months. Right, how's the Eastern Front looking? Um, thanks allies? Can I do... A little bit of an encirclement here. Oh my god, I don't have... No, the allies gave that to China. And I don't have mill access to the to China, so that's why they just got it. And now China's gonna get all of the land. Uh, sure, fine. I'm playing democratic Russia. I don't really care anymore. It's also funny that Poland exists only in Lithuania. Ah, shit, we just got a bunch of non-aligned support. Monarchism. There we go. Look at that. 20 factories that we just got. Oh, well, that the Germans don't have anymore. What? The UK just kicked us. And we are now the third Rome. But would you look at that? National referendum. We are now purple democratic Russia. Hey, can I join the allies again? It was just a phase, mom. Fall of Rome? <laughs> I don't think so. We will never fall. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, we have a claim on Rome as well. <laughs> I didn't even know about that. Wait, we're gonna get the Roman puppet then. In Turkey, because we want to get the second Rome as well. For our third Rome. Oh, I fucking hate... Churchill, if you wouldn't have kicked me. Whatever, whatever. Let's just fix this. What happened to... There's nobody here. I guess you have other fronts to worry about. You stole Rome from me. Give me Rome back. Who else has points here? You have 50%. The UK has 20. I swear, if these units are gonna run back into Germany, I will be slightly muffed. Yes, I got Italy. Oh, there we go. Very important. I want my Rome. And I want my Rome. And I honestly don't care about the rest. Come on. UK, these would be so beautiful borders. Don't, don't screw this up. Oh, fuck off. This would have been, this would have connected the land and it would have looked so beautiful. You know, apart from the fact that Poland exists. No time for peace, that's based. Hey, by the way, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch this one where I played Vichy France and I suffered even more than this one because it's, it's just cursed.